Good morning, everybody. This is Chris from Classic VW Bugs, and it is, holy cow, Christmas Eve 2019, vlog number 18. And I know it's been a while, I haven't done a vlog. Uh, just been super busy trying to finalize the year, get the year out, and get it all packed together, and moving on to 2020. And holy cow, it is 2020 is coming, guys. <laughs> Where are the years going? Uh, 2020 almost sounds like futuristic. Uh, 2020, just strange. But um, yeah, what an amazing year. Uh, but before we get going, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and uh, you know, for the price of a cup of coffee, you can send a small PayPal donation uh, to our channel here. Uh, on, on YouTube and it helps keep this content going it helps keep the vintage scene alive and the vintage VWs and keeping them on the road so if you uh, whatever you guys can afford uh, we appreciate it and we thank you and guys I can't thank my supporters enough I can't thank all the guys that have uh, donated to our donated to our channel and keeping classic VW bugs cranking on YouTube with new how to's and things and I'm about 600 videos on YouTube, guys, and I've been using YouTube since 2007. So I'm approaching 13 years on YouTube, and YouTube has changed a ton since then. Uh, I mean, 20, 2007, making videos back then to doing it today is a completely different ball game, and it's amazing how it's evolved, and uh, yeah, it's... It's a huge platform, and uh, you know, I I still s strive to throw out a video a week on there, and sometimes it's tough when I'm juggling my business and such. But um, you know, it's it's a, it's a great platform. So wow, that sun's really in my eyes. I'm gonna put this shade up. So if you can't see my face. I do apologize. Uh, so what's going on, guys? 2019 is in the bag, and what an amazing year it was. Um, you know, we did see the market still steadily incline, uh, you know, price-wise for the Beetle, which is good. And um, 2020 looks to be, you know, good as well. Uh, you know, there's, there's always a stable incline, I see, with the value of the Beetle, which is great. We don't really see the huge dips and curves like roller coaster rides like some of the cars have done in the past. So uh, 2019 was really good, and we were super busy. I'm still busy. I got so many restos to do still in uh in 2020 and uh it's just amazing you know but i gotta tell you i mean the prices of parts and such has gone up for the earlier cars just unbelievable um so i'm here to basically just tell you guys and wish everybody a merry christmas and a happy new year uh i i am so grateful for all of our followers and all of our subscribers it's just phenomenal uh, that i've been going this long on youtube and getting the information out there so in 2020 I am thinking of maybe a different approach with the YouTube channel um, and I'd love to hear your thoughts and love to hear you know what you guys expect to see from me in 2020 on the on the channel um, you know like I said YouTube has been evolving I got a ton of how to's and all different aspects of VW restoration and you know every now and then with this something I have not covered I'll throw it out there on the channel, of course, and, and uh, present it to you guys. Um, but I'd love to hear what your thoughts and comments are on what I should be presenting to you in 2020. I'm really sorry about that shadow, guys. It's just a hell of a sun shot right there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that, guys. So, But uh, leave it in the comments section below. If you want to pop me an email, that'd be great. Um, I am looking for stories uh, from real VW history people, guys that have been with the dub for decades, uh, maybe grew up with them during the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, and then even the 90s, why not, I mean, Jesus, the 90s are 20 years ago, 25 years ago, whatever, and uh, I can't believe I graduated high school 25 years ago, approaching 25 years ago in 95, so there was people that had, you know, even VWs back then as daily drivers and such, and even till today, but... I'd love to hear your stories, and it's something if, if it's something I can put on my channel to present to the VW world, I think that would be excellent. And uh, I want to know your story and your passion behind a VW, and that could be something I can present in 2020. Let's get a little more personal with everybody and get a little warmer, and um, 
yeah, let's let's get the word out there and, and really keep the heart and soul and the passion alive with, with the buck. Now, coming up in 2020, of course, in January, once the year turns, you know, the uh, big auctions start in, in January. The uh, Barrett-Jackson auction, you got RM, you got Gooding, you got Russo and Steele. And if you do take a glance at Barrett-Jackson uh, coming up in January, I forgot the dates exactly, but uh, there are two cars, two VWs that are crossing the block that came through my shop. And one of them is one that I fully restored, uh, probably a good, mm, I don't know, maybe five, six years ago. And it's a 53 oval window uh, rag top. So take a look at that. Curious to see what that does across the auction block. Um, I have seen some of my cars cross the auction blocks before. And um, pretty cool. It's, it's very exciting to see some of my cars cross the blocks and, you know, Timing is everything with auctions, and you know sometimes you might cross the block when there's not that many people in the audience, um, or you might cross it when there's a ton of people in the audience. Uh, I always found that to be very crapshoot kind of you know display there. I mean, you know, you might have a. I see. I've been to Barrett Jackson. I've seen gem of cars cross the blocks and go for piddles uh, just because they went off on like a Thursday morning or something. Um, and uh, but the two cars that are crossing the block is like I said that 53 oval rag top that I uh, I restored and then it's a 59 uh, Atlas blue convertible uh, that we also had come through our shop and uh, we did the engine on that car uh, which was really nice that was a really beautiful restoration that was done we got the car out of Florida and uh, one of my clients bought it and then we wound up eventually selling it so Take a look at that. I'm, I'm very curious to see what those cars do. They're beautiful cars, top of the line. Restorations are excellent. Uh, the 53 oval rag top, numbers matching, top to bottom. Super rare car. Uh, you just don't find those anymore. And then even the 59 convertible. I mean, just again, this 50s cars, guys, their value is just going up. So let's keep an eye on that. But uh, that's it, guys. All I want to say is Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, probably won't be doing a video even next week. I wanted to get this quick vlog out and just uh, put the word out that, you know, a little change next year in 2020. Um, so I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments of what you think uh, I should be talking about. And on another note, I'm flirting. I've already made the logo. Um, my, uh, I'm going to start an RC channel on YouTube. I might be out of my mind. It's just more time added to my day and to my week. But uh, something I want to give a shot uh, at. And uh, the logo is going to be very similar to my VW logo that I have now, my badge. And it's going to be uh, just Valone's RC Hobby. And uh, I'm looking to get that going in 2020. I've been flirting with getting in there to the shop and doing a Saturday video, but I have, just haven't uh, put everything. I want to get all my ducks in a row first before I start on that channel. So uh, if you guys are into RC stuff, you know, that's excellent. You know, I, ho I hope to see you guys subscribe to that channel. If not, I totally understand. It's all good. But uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to everybody. Let's let 2020 be uh, an amazing year. 2020, I mean, now we're looking at the 1970s Beatles approaching the 50 year year old mark. I mean, my 70 Beetle convertible is going to be 50 uh, coming up. I might even already be because I think it was a late 69, my 70. And uh, that's just it's just weird to think of the 70s Beatles being 50 years old. You know, when I started this business, when I was grabbing oval window Beatles and they were 50 years old. Uh, that was considered, oh, wow, you know, you can see it's an oval window beetle. Yeah, 50 years old. Wow. Now it's like a 70 beetle, 50 years old. What? It's crazy. <laughs> so anyways, guys. All right. Again, peace, uh, peace out to everybody. Uh, I wish everybody the best, uh, happy and healthy, and I will see you next year. All right. Bye-bye.